The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and its federal and state partners recently teamed up to collect endangered mussels within the St. Croix River before placing them downstream of Lock and Dam No. 1 in Minneapolis. Corps of Engineers mussel biologist Dan Kellner said monitoring mussels within the river is important because they are an indicator of a river's water quality. The reason native mussels are important is because they cleanse the water and they truly are indicators of good water quality. They're, they're uh, sort of the canary in the, in, the, in the coal mine. That coal mine, or river in this case, has seen drastic changes in the past century. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service biologist Phil Delphi explains. It was in a lot of areas, it was just so heavily polluted that, uh, you know, sediment coming off land due to, you know, churning over the prairie to, for agriculture and, and that combined with the, the water pollution, the sewage and industrial pollution just, you know, changed the water quality and, and the, the habitat so drastically that a lot of these species just, just disappeared. Realizing the situation needed improvement, the Corps and its partners, to include the National Park Service and the Minnesota and Wisconsin Departments of Natural Resources, are in the process of placing mussels in areas where they were once abundant. And we're just trying to give some of the more rare, endangered, federally endangered and state endangered mussel species a boost by um, reintroducing the species into the area. Kellner said conditions have improved greatly in Pool 2, and the project team has accomplished a lot. Um, water quality has improved dramatically in this reach of the river. There's very, very few zebra mussels, so it's a, um, it's a pretty successful reintroduction effort. Reporting for the Corps of Engineers in St. Paul, Minnesota, I'm Patrick Mose.